Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala to reinstate the suspended veterinary surgeons from the Savo East National Park. They are also demanding that uh, CS uh, Najib Balala should resign following the deaths of 11 translocated rhinos from Nakuru and Nairobi National Parks to the Savo East National Park. Let's listen in to what the uh, veterinarians have to say. A directive to the capture team to move the rhinos to Savo, contrary to the evaluation reports that indicated high salinity and, and uh, was known to endanger rhino uh, survival in the Savo. With us here today, we have reports showing of the evaluation reports indicating that actually the board did discuss and the salinity levels were very high. And that is why the board had issued, uh, you know, that these rhinos not to be moved to Savo. On it also is that we had asked the CS Balala to issue a written apology to the union, to the members of the veterinary profession, and to the Kenyan people for asking uh, the veterinary doctors and the Kenyan people to go to hell when we demanded for accountability. So far, we have not seen a written apology, not verbal apology, but a written apology. We had also asked for immediate restructuring of the KWS, including undertaking workload analysis of the veterinary doctors, non-designation of veterinary doctors as wardens, study on consumptive utilization, that is game hunting, stopped immediately, and revocation of the appointments of the KWS Board of Trustees with notable conflict of interest with Kenya Wildlife Service. Sadly, the CS has treated Kenyans and veterinary doctors with what will you do attitude. The key questions remain. Why would a CS Balala appoint Mr. Patrick Omoni to be part of the investigation team Yet he was part of, the trans, uh, part of the translocation project, which was initiated in 2012. Does that not amount to conflict of interest? And we asked, why would a suspect be part of an investigation team? Number two, why would C.S. Balala appoint Dr. David Zimmerman from South Africa, knowing very well he was not licensed to practice in Kenya, by the Kenya Veterinary Board. We have letters now to show the academic credentials and the uh, uh, registration uh, credibility of one Dr. Zimmerman. We also now know that these two people, and specifically Dr. Zimmerman, has been looking for an opportunity to work at the K Kenya Wildlife Service. Number three, why was salinity assessment report ignored in the decision-making process, despite indication that the salinity was three times the acceptable limits? Why is the director, acting director general, Mr. Julius Kimani, still at KWS, yet he was part of the decision-making process? He has even now been promoted to the position of Acting Deputy Director, Conservation and Security, while Mr. Patrick Mondi is now back to the KWS after being fired in 2015 and promoted to the position of Acting Deputy Director, Biodiversity and Research. The two, uh, let me make it clear, the two positions which the CS has purported to appoint these two people do not exist within the KWS structure within the Wildlife Act, nor was, was it approved by the Board of Trustees. It is illegal. Mr. Kimani, as a Deputy Dire uh, uh, Director General, Acting Director General, made a visit to Savo East National Park in May 2015, where he held a meeting to finalize on the location 
uh, of the translocation. The leeward side was chosen contrary to the advice because these animals were moving from a high altitude to a low altitude area. They needed to be located at the windward side of the hill because that could have allowed a free air circulation. And knowing that the rhinos are, have a huge body, the volume ratio to surface area is uh, high, and therefore they needed a higher uh, levels of air circulation to cool uh, their body temperatures. So the side warden and the technocrats objected the site location. I want to challenge Mr. Julius Kimani today to table the findings of that meeting they held with the technocrats because we have the minutes of that meeting that happened at Savo. Number five, who issued the final authorization to translocate the rhinos in the absence of the board? Number six, why was the Board Conservation Committee recommendations ignored? The Board recommendations, Conservation Committee recommendations did indicate that the water was saline, the vegetation uh, that was available in Savo was not conducive for rhinos. Why did the CS overlook these recommendations? Number seven, why would WWF insist on the translocation to Savo East under the CS Balala, aware of the salinity levels? What interest propelled the CS to pressure the KWS Acting Director General, Julius Kimani, to under undertake rhino translocation immediately after the expiry of uh, doc Dr. Leakey led board? In whose interest was this? This is what we're asking, and the Kenyan people need to ask. Number eight is that three out of the four board of trustees members own huge conservancies in Kenya. They are in direct competition with the objectives and mandate of KWS as a regulator of wildlife. Ian Craig, for example, has been a KWS board of trustee for six years. He has been added another three years to make it nine years. This was, the six years was under the chairmanship of the late uh, David Muraria. It was even during this tenure, up to 2014, that recorded the highest level of poaching in the Republic of Kenya. He has been a strong advocate of consumptive utilization of wildlife in Kenya, that is game hunting. There, we know this appointment is a, as a result of frequent visits by C.S. Balala to his conservancy. In short, this is a reward. We ask, what value will Ian Craig uh, bring to the KWS, which he didn't for the last six years? In fact, for the last six years is when we've seen systematic uh, uh, downgrading of the Kenya Wildlife Service. Why does he want to reward such kind of people with direct competition with the Kenya Wildlife Service? We know on the, uh, the CS Balala on the 6th of August inaugurated the KWS Board of Trustees with a call to evaluating the capacity of KWS with the aim of getting international assistance. That was his message to the Board of Trustees during his inaugural speech. The international assistance which we've gotten from WWF has led to the fatal translocation of all 11 rhinos to Savo East. A, pa a person in the capacity of the CS who does not believe in the co competence of his professionals is not fit to lead. The veterinary doctors at KWS have, have successfully translocated thousands of animals. In the year 2000, for example, KWS translocated 100 elephants. To the amusement of the... 
the infuriated uh, union chairman of the veterinary practitioners of Kenya, Dr. Benson Kibore, who's demanding the resignation of Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala. They were giving a briefing on the next cause of action after the union issued a seven-day ultimatum to Tourism Cabinet Secretary to reinstate uh, suspended sergeants at the Savo East National Park following the deaths of 11 translocated rhinos which were relocated from Nakuru and Nairobi National Parks to the Savo East National Park with the Tourism Cabinet Secretary saying that they died due to poisoning of salt water. Okay, let's end this discussion about road safety. Now I have um, uh, my panel here and I know, David, you really wanted to make something clear before we took the break. What was that? Uh, let me see. As Kenyans, we must start asking ourselves, when did the rain start beating us? Mm -hmm. That is the first question we should ask ourselves. And the question has been answered. It is impunity. Look how every ministry, people are crying all over. Work is not done. There is a lot of impunity. We have just seen here houses being demolished. But we have not seen people taken to court. Because there were people in the ministry, there were engineers who, who gave all the, the, the okay, the building to continue. There was the Neema, you cannot build in Nairobi without the clearance of Neema. Right. So those people who did that, before these buildings are demolished, we should be seeing them in court. Mm -hmm. And if it starts there, even on our roads, things will be better. Right. Because in other countries, like today, the CS would have said, I've resigned. Mm -hmm. Because I have failed in my job. Taking they should not wait to be sacked and by Balala. the president. Mm -hmm. Balala, as they are talking, he should not wait for the cry of these people. Right. He should just resign. Yes. Why is he not resigning? That, that is act, the question we should act, ask ourselves. That act of uh, taking responsibility, you know, pu pu public officials, uh, we also have ministers, we also have even the president or even the deputy president, why is it so hard for Kenyans to take responsibility when uh, your ministry or the office that you work under has been put under so much scrutiny of what the problems that you're facing? Dan? It's a simple answer. Impunity. Yes. Nothing is going to happen. You had from Balala. Go to hell. You're telling Kenyans to go to hell. Oh, yes. I mean, if the president wants Kenyans to take him seriously, I mean, if this man cannot resign... He Saki. should be sent home. Mm -hmm. He should be sent home. In fact, one of the things I'm going to tell President Kenyatta, and if he's watching this show this morning, is that many of his ministers are not working. And if something needs to be done, you start analyzing that, those ministers right from number one. And, and go to Treasury. What is happening with Rotich? Go come to Balala. What is happening with the Ministry of Education? Go to Security and every other ministry. These ministers are not working, and if there is need for... President Kenyatta to reconstitute his government, the time is now. And if people are going to listen to him, the time is now. Let him not stop even talking about the four agendas that he wants to implement. Because you cannot implement agendas, the four agendas, if the same minister still remain in office. They are not going to do anything. And President, if you don't have support. He, he doesn't have support. He is one man. He needs people who are going to support him holistically if his agendas have to be implemented as required. And therefore, to me, I think if something has to be done quickly, Balala needs to go home. He shouldn't wait for this kind of noise that is going, taking place. People like Masharia and the, whatever that is happening in our roads today, Kenyans are dying every single day. And I will invite the members of the Fort Estate to do an analysis outside there. What is happening in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the transport sector? The transport sector is completely rotten. And the man is still in office with impunity thinking that Kenyans are not seeing what is happening. True. One life lost in Kenya today is too many to be allowed to continue with the same kind of life we are leading today. Okay. Therefore, to me, Eric, the truth of the matter has to be said, President Kenyatta has to reconstitute his government. The current ministers are not working. They are not serving Kenyans. Right. Eric, make, make it very quick because of time. Malaysia. Uh, uh, sorry, Mauritius mm -hmm. has a very short coastline, shorter than our country's coastline. Uh, Mauritius, uh, last year, they got more millions of tourists than what we got by a bigger margin. Right. And they are a smaller population even. The tourists they got are more than the population in their country. That is about Mauritius. As we have everything, we have good tourism and everything. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, 
He who does not respect nature, wait for the nature to discipline them. I'm not, I'm not scared to say that, and I'm not a prophet of doom. Let's wait for the natural calamities that will come to us because of one person who is telling us to go to hell. Hell will come, true, it will come. Yeah. And the day it will come, we'll, not, we'll remember him telling us go to hell because he really, he's really taking us there. It is coming to a point when the rivers will flood, some of these uh, lions will go, we lack food because these are the food to lions. They'll come eat humans. So it is going to hell and it will come really because we are destroying nature. Okay. Yes. Okay. Joker, I want to protect Balala with one minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I want to say Balala is a deliverer. Okay. He served me in the Juakali sector uh, way back in 2013. And I saw a vibrant minister in a system. But Balala has failed in tourism. The reason why he's in tourism is because of the gate entry of tourism in the, in the countries, the coast region. But if he can be so arrogant to say what he's saying, then I think Balala needs to step aside or go home and rest because he's... Now, he's one thing that job. Kenyans he's don't understand, mm -hmm. one thing I, uh, Kenyans don't understand, and I saw it in a dream, I asked myself a question. I have so many guests that have been working with the UN for many years. Many guests who are coming in the country, they say, we want to see animals. We want to see animals. As an indication, they don't have animals. We have more animals than they have. Mm -hmm. Now, why do we have many animals than they have? The Ark of Noah landed on Mount Kenya. Many Kenyans don't understand that. So even these animals mm. that we have lost today... <laughs> should go back to my Bible and check. Yeah, you go and check the Bible. <laughs> now, many of these rhinos that even we have lost today, we have been donating them during Kibaki's time mm. in Asia. Okay. Mm. But let's not be just arrogant that we have them. Right. Time is coming when you shall lose them. Mm. Lastly, Matiangi said all the buses in school should be painted yellow. Many Kenyans didn't understand why. They said Matiangi eats bananas, so he wants buses to look like bananas. <laughs> Did he want to eat banana, uh, buses? No. It has been verified. Many police are colorblind. They see <coughs> yellow more than other colors. Now, if you paint them yellow, they'll see them vividly. So why are no, the police not seeing them when they're coming on the roadblocks? So I want us to take Kenyans back to there. All buses should be yellow. All the traffic uh, roadblocks must be documented. Let, them see, let us see them on the, on the website. Okay. That this roadblock is here, this one is here. How many policemen? What are the numbers? All we right. shall help the government to cap this. All right. Uh, my time is up with you, gentlemen. Thank you very much for sharing your insights with us on the Daily Brief. I've been talking to Dan uh -huh. Mochoko, who's a political analyst, David Kiare, who's the chairman of the Kenya Road Association, engineer Charles Kalomba, who's the secretary general of uh, Juakali Federation and also a member of the Kenya Road Association and Eric Ragallo, a politician from uh, Royal Constituency, ODM uh, politician for that matter. Eric, my namesake, thank you, gentlemen, for talking to us on The Daily Brief. I'll take you to uh, the South End Mall along Langata Road, which is currently being demolished by the National Environmental and Management Authority. Our report